All right, this is the chapter nine POL, question number two. And we have to figure out if it starts, if it's diverge or converge. So converge, I always think of like surrounding people. So converge means you get closer to zero, right? The numbers get closer to zero and then diverge means they get farther from zero, right? And if it diverges, it won't have a sum, right? Cause it'll just be infinity, it'll be way too big. So for this particular one, it is converging. These are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And so the idea is eventually you're basically adding zero so we can find the sum, right? And so in order to find the sum, we just have to figure out which formula to use. So for this one, it is an infinite series and in geometric. Uh, so that's gonna be our formula, A1 over one minus R. All right, so our sum is gonna be a1 over 1 minus r. A1 is 1 fourth. All right, here's A1. Could label some terms. And then as far as r goes, r is the number that we multiply by, called the common ratio. If you can't tell, right, this one actually r is going to be 1 half. But if you can't tell that, you got to think like if I have 1 fourth, what fraction do I multiply by to end up at 1 a? And hopefully you can see that you need a 1 in the numerator and a 2 in the denominator, right? So that's what we're multiplying by is 1 half, right? And if we check it, if we take 1 eighth times 1 half, you get 1 sixteenth, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so into our formula, we go 1 minus 1 half. Okay, and so this is a little bit goofy fractions, but I'm going to try and do this all with fractions. So 1 minus 1 half is you just have 1 half. Start with the whole pizza, eat half of it, you have half left. And then here, this big fraction bar is division. So I'm going to rewrite it as 1 fourth divided by 1 half. And then when you divide two fractions, you flip the second one and change it to multiply. So it would be 1 fourth times 2 over 1. And then that uh, would be just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. And so we end up with 1 half, right? So that's our sum of these infinite terms. And these aren't very big, so it kind of makes sense that their sum is also not very big, just one half. So it does, um, let's see, so this does converge to zero and has a sum of a half. Right, so letter C should be the right choice uh, on this one. Okay, hopefully that makes sense.